Reproductive failure is the most common reason that beef cows are cold, and the most common cause of reproductive failure is a cow failing to become pregnant during the breeding season. The longer non-pregnant cows stay on the farm after the end of the breeding season, the more you spend on unnecessary feed, labor, health, and other costs of maintaining open cows. Identifying and culling non-pregnant cows as early as possible just makes economic sense. Using an ultrasound, your veterinarian can determine not only if, but also when cows became pregnant during the breeding season. The earliest a pregnancy can be visualized with ultrasound is about 28 days after conception. Before this time, fetal size is simply too small to reliably detect. Cows that are not detectably pregnant could still be shortbred if they were exposed to bulls in the previous 28 days. Take this into account when scheduling preg checks. You will need to wait about a month after bulls have been removed to accurately determine which cows are truly non-pregnant. You also don't want to have preg checks done too late, especially if you want to know the difference between pregnancies that resulted from AI versus those that resulted from natural service. If you waited 14 days to introduce bulls after timed AI, your veterinarian should be able to accurately distinguish between AI versus natural service sired pregnancies up to around 90 days of gestation. After that point, the growing size of the calf makes it more difficult to accurately determine differences in fetal age. In a well-managed herd with a short breeding season, you may be able to have preg checks performed on the whole herd at one time. For example, if you use a 45-day breeding season, try to schedule your preg checks somewhere between 75 and 90 days after the start of your breeding season. If using a 60-day breeding season, 90 days is a great time to get all of the information you need. In other cases, you may need to have your veterinarian come back to perform a second ultrasound on cows that were not detectably pregnant the first time. For example, some producers choose to leave cows exposed to bulls for longer and simply sell late calving cows. In that case, cows that are not detectably pregnant at the first ultrasound will need to be sorted off and rechecked about a month after bulls are removed. If you decide to expose cows to bulls for a longer period of time, Establish a strict cutoff and make a commitment to selling those cows that conceive late during the breeding season. Keeping those late conceiving cows will only bring down the long-term reproductive efficiency of your herd.